Here we're trying to find the limit as x approaches 1 of ln x to the 6 plus 1 raised to the power 1 over ln x to the 3rd. So notice first of all that you're going to write this, rewrite this and have the power come down in other words. It's going to be 6 ln x plus 1 raised to the power 1 over 3 ln x. Right? So we're basically bringing the power down using the properties of uh, logarithms. Okay? You can't really work with your ease here because you have to actually use substitution. There's no way you can avoid it. So what you're going to do, you're going to let y be equal to 6 ln x. Okay? If y is equal to 6 ln x, then your limit will change. First of all, as x approaches 1, if you substitute 1 into the x here, you will get 6 times ln of 1, which is equal to 6 times 0, which is equal to 0. Right? So in other words, what you're going to have is, you're going to have essentially limit as y approaches 0, as we just uh, decided based on the fact that when x is equal to 1, the substitution yields y is equal to 0. Right? So the limit as y approaches 0 now, and this is going to be what? 6 ln x is y, y plus 1, raised to the power of 1 over 3 ln x. So this is a little bit trickier. So how do we know what 3 ln x is? Notice that y divided by 2 is going to be exactly 6 divided by 2 times ln x, which is 3 ln x. Right? So this is basically going to be 1 over y over 2. But 1 over y over 2 is going to be the same thing as flipping this fraction 2 over y. So it's going to be 2 divided by y as the power. Okay, so we have that. Now there's one more substitution. We're going to let we're going to let z be equal to y plus 1 raised to the power of 2 over y. Okay? And why did we actually start doing the substitution? Notice that if we tried to uh, evaluate 1 at the x here, we would have indeterminate forms. Right? ln x, ln, ln of 1 is going to be 0, so that would be 1, and then 1 over ln 1 would be 1 over 0. Right? 1 over 0 is infinity, but this would be what? 1 to the infinity, and 1 to the infinity is the indeterminate form result, so there's no way we could have evaluated directly and found the limit using the x is equal to 1 substitution. Right? And the same thing here. It's not going to change. The answer would not change if you try to plug in x is equal to 1 here. Right? It would still be 1 to the infinity, which is indeterminate form. Now, if you try here, you will get the same thing. You will still get 1 to the infinity if you plug in y is equal to 0. Right? It doesn't change the answer. All it does is just it gives us an, an easier way to work out the limit and somehow remove the power. Right? So here what you're going to do down, now that the z is equal to y plus 1 to the power of 2 over y, you're going to take the ln on both sides. So ln of z is going to be the ln of this. ln of one y plus 1 raised to the power of 2 over y. And we know that the ln um, of something raised to the power makes the power of that input of the ln go down. So it's going to be 2 over y ln of 1 plus 1, y, pl y plus 1. Right? So this is going to be the result. So now what we can do, we can fi find the limit that way, right? So the limit as y approaches 0 of this, of uh, 2 over y times ln of y plus 1, is going to be the limit as y approaches 0 of 2 ln of y plus 1 divided by y. Right? This looks a little bit easier. Now at least we have a fraction, no powers involved, so that's great. But now here's the problem. If you try to evaluate um, the limit directly using y is equal to 0, you will still fail because it's going to be 0 over 0. And this is indeterminate form. Right? Because ln1 is 0 and 0 is in the bottom. So what you're going to do, you're going to have to use Hopital's rule. You're going to have to use Hopital's rule 
and we're going to differentiate both sides separate uh, the, the numerator and denominator separately make sure that you're not doing a quotient rule it's going to be separate uh, derivative for the top and the separate der derivative for the bottom right so it's going to be 2 um, and the derivative of ln of y plus 1 is first 1 divided by y plus 1 times the derivative of the inside which is 1 right times 1 and divided by and separate derivative for the bottom is 1 right the derivative of y is 1 so now look what happens the limit as y approaches 0 we can simplify that is going to be 2 divided by y plus 1 right the the limit of this the y of 2 over y plus 1 so now the good news is you can evaluate the limit directly here and you will not have any indeterminate form so that's going to be 2 over 0 plus 1 which is going to be equal to 2 now what does this what does this give us notice that this is the limit be sure you understand that what you just found the 2 um, what you just found was equal to the limit as y approaches 0 of the ln of y plus 1 to the power of 2 over, two over y right the, the limit of the ln right not not of the um, not of this but ln of this right so you have to bring it back somehow get rid of the ln so that you find the limit of this the input of the ln and not just the ln so to do that what you're gonna do you're gonna have to understand that as y approaches 0 the limit of z and z was this part so z was this right so we're trying to find the limit of this so that's gonna be what that's gonna be the limit as y approaches 0 of e to, to the ln z and that's the same thing as going to be e raised to the power of the limit as y approaches 0 of ln z okay okay these are the proper properties of lim uh, of the uh, limits right so when you take the limit of the e to the uh, ln of the function is going to be the same thing as the e raised to the power of the limit of the ln of that function right so that should be clear so now the good news is that we know we know this part we know this part was equal to this this which we worked out to be 2 right so we can say that it's going to be e raised to the power of 2 so the the limit is e squared so guess what that means e squared was the limit as y approached 0 of this y plus 1 raised to the power of 2 over y because based on the um, substitution here that we've done in the very first place this can be rewritten again in terms of the original problem right so this is equal to the limit as x approaches 1 of ln of x to the 6 and I'm also going back in terms of uh, assigning the 6 as the power again I'm going back to the very original problem written raised to the power 1 over ln x to the third right so this limit is e squared so I hope this was helpful and fun thanks for watching and see you in the next video